Hey, you guys, and welcome to my May wrap up, uh, which you guys probably saw coming if you saw my hashtag yearathon May reread month wrap up. So I'm gonna mention those books really briefly. Uh, but if you guys want to know more about those books, I will link them down below. Those are the books that I read, of course, for the week of the hashtag Yearthon. And those were Pounded in My Butt by My Own Book by Chick Tingle. I know, I know. Go to the video, explain so much more. And then I read um, His Mad Passion by Ella Goud. And then I read Asunder by Phoenix Slaughter. And then I read um, Prick by Sabrina Page. Uh, Knife, which was a graphic novel by Richard Brown, and then The Light from the Dark by Mer Mary Mercy Celeste. So yeah, those books I read, did reviews on and everything, and all the information will be in the hashtag Yearathon wrap up. So moving on from that, I just like want you guys to know that in the month of May, I did Kindle Unlimited free trial. So most of these books that I read were read from my Kindle. And and except for one or two of them plus um i bought asunder so that was basically it <laughs> so let's go on to the first book that i read after the hashtag yearthon and that was a love of vengeance by nancy havlid and it is the first man in the first book in the wanted man series so the mob theme you're gonna see once or twice in this video and this one um follows gabriel and he is kind of feared in the Italian mob. He's like kind of like a big boss in some sort of ways. And he gets called back to New York by a friend. And that is like his hometown. And he's not 100% welcome in this town because of like some family business. Yeah, whatever. But um, his friend is the head of the Russian mob. And so him and his friend are having to talk. And all of a sudden he comes out that he has a daughter, uh, it's a grown daughter, and he needs Gabriel to protect her while he goes take care of business because of the way the mother died. <laughs> things, things abound. So he goes back to Seattle to go protect the girl because that's where the girl's moving and that is where Gabriel lives. And just everything that went down, you know, you kind of predict most of what's going to happen, especially with the relationship, and you like that. Um, I think she has, like, some a reaction to all the things that are going on and stuff, like, like you would probably do up to a certain point, because at a certain point, I was just like, you, shh, you need to calm. There, there comes a point where you just need to be quiet about all this. But yeah, it was kind of, it was really great. I loved it. I loved their... Um, banter with each other how they bounced off one another you know he's alpha male but he's not like crazy to a point or whatever he actually had valid points for everything uh, at any point in time um, I like what we got to see of her father and like um, and when they finally met and stuff like that and um, just like I love the side characters I'm so glad that some of them get their own stories and I can't wait to read them whenever I get to them um, but you know how Mount TBR is but hey awesomeness so um, I gave this book a five out of five stars and I'm so looking forward to reading the sequels the next book that I have is No Shades of Grey a six word story uh, with a really bright white cover and it's by Rosen Trick and this is basically what it says fancy some SM. no thanks okay the end but then it goes on like with Yoda some SM fancy you no thanks except that I do the end and it goes in Franklish German pirate Dutch zombie brains 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 no thanks brains the end <laughs> and then it does in Cornish haiku text speak hangman crossword it keeps going on in poetry form and stuff like that I gave it two stars because I thought it was um, inventive and gave me a chuckle here and there but it wasn't that funny to me um, but hey I saw some people gave it five stars it's like 99 cents on the Kindle if you guys uh, want to go <laughs> read it and then after that I read the Wicked and the Divine Volume 2 um, and this is just a, a graphic novel about how every 90 years 12 gods return as young people they're loved they're hated in two years they're all dead it's happening now it's happening again and I've read the whole graphic novel by this point 
as we're in September. So I'll just link down all the reviews that I did. All of them are spoiler free basically unless you have not read the previous issue. <laughs> um, so if you haven't read issues one and two then you'll be spoiled a little bit when I'm talking about it in issue three but I haven't spoiled issue three if you get my meaning. So moving on from that which I gave four out of five stars to that issue. I read Rebel by Kim Linwood. That's how it looks. And this is gonna be um this is gonna follow this girl and her and this guy. They have like this one night stand and it turns out like uh, a little while after that they discover that her mom and his dad are getting married. I you know, they're betrothed to one another. This is gonna be um a, um the story you're gonna hear more than once throughout this video. <laughs> yeah. So um, after after they have the dinner where things are revealed and stuff, or whatever, she sees her future father-in-law throw away some tickets that to a cruise that she was gonna take her mom. He was gonna take her mom on. It turns out her mom doesn't like boats and whatever. Um, so she picks up the tickets because she's like, oh my god, I can just use these and go because you know he crazy rich and he probably doesn't think too much about throwing this away. But I, I want to do this. This is nice. But um, brother sees her do it brother stepbrother soon to be stepbrother whatever sees her do it and um like i guess he follows her to the boat and he's like what did you think was gonna happen because you know it was in his father's name luckily they have the same name i guess or whatever so they they're basically pretending to be the parents on the boat but what guess what well, was guess what's gonna happen on the boat you can guess it i'm sure they end up married because his father was planning to surprise um, her mother with a surprise marriage and stuff like that so that's what goes down on there and then you know we just see them kind of bonding or not bonding in some cases we see them going through some emotional turmoil about stuff like some really emotional stuff gets dredged up and <clears throat> it's a boat and so you know no matter how big it is it's still big it's still small enough that you know gossipy gossip on there <laughs> I love that old woman um, but I like both the characters. Um, I like the parents and then <clears throat> stuff that went down. Um, I gave this 4 out of 5 stars in the end and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, then <laughs> the next book that I read is Married to the Bad Boy by Vanessa Waltz. And this one takes place because of this girl. <laughs> I don't know exactly what went down, but I believe her father was in a mob at one point or another. And once you're in the mob, you never really leave the mob type thing even if you're the daughter and then um she used to be saved for some reason i forgot exactly what she did but so she begs this other guy who's in a different mob i think yeah to protect her and they get married and whatever even though he's just like why am i doing this but he also has a um ethic kind of attitude and i like their journey together of course i do can't say too much without spoiling it even though i figure some of it may be predictable anyway except for like some how it went like <laughs> i don't know something happened at the end and i was just kind of like oh it was nice i wasn't expecting it but it was like a nice thing so that's what i thought i gave it four out of five stars and i really enjoyed it and then the next book that I read, sorry I keep looking at my phone because I have good reads open here. It was a physical book and I don't know where the book went. I don't know what I did with it. I thought I kept it but maybe I just... Okay so I was um... I gave, I actually gave away books and stuff which I do on occasion. Um, this time it happened mostly to be like they're in boxes so you probably haven't seen them. Most, the majority of them were like thrillers and harlequin romance type books. Um, and of course as I'm going through this I'm like oh this, I don't think I've read this one and I'm really interested and I want to read it. So I kept one or two behind and that was one of them and this one was um, both of them by Rebecca Winters. So. Um, this one takes place um, a while ago. It was like a really old Harlequin novel. So I want you guys to keep that in mind as I'm telling you the plot line of this book. So it follows this girl and her sister and brother-in-law died in a car crash. And one of the things her sister wanted her to do besides take her kid was to discover whether or not that was really her kid because she had always felt that she hadn't had enough time yet but that that it wasn't her kid that maybe they got switched out at the hospital. So of course she finds uh, the family that did it. Her, him, the guy and the woman are divorced or whatever, but you know the guy has custody, and he's like, 
we should just get married because apparently this is the thing that makes the most sense i mean there is extenuating circumstances some stuff that went on that i can actually believe that he's spouted because i'm sure even back then there must have been some type of um laws in place but um whatever they get married you know it was a nice sweet book like heartwarming after you got past the weirdness that i still can believe that she fit for whatever i'm sorry there there is just no good logic to the whole hey we should get married thing even though i like that trope sometimes in the heart like not because it forces them to be together when they actually would have like no like connection otherwise especially since they lived in other cities and stuff but i mean i like them um i like i thought it should have been a little bit longer though but otherwise i really loved it and i gave it a four out of five stars um, then the next book that i read was snowden hottie by claire madden and this was another stepbrother kind of tropey book except that this one was really short it was only like 20 it was like a 20 pages or something like that and i did a review on it so i'll link it down below but basically i just felt like we were just dropped into the middle of the story like it wasn't even like a really great short story like i just felt like someone took an end of a book and just like put it out there as a short like short story i gave it two stars and i'll link my short but sweet review down below <laughs> next um we have silver and black by tyler may you guys can actually see that um i was so excited for this book and i was so disappointed in this book okay i i really like at the beginning like i was even telling people i'm gonna love this book okay and after i'm done reading it i'm gonna i'm gonna buy the physical copy <laughs> might take me a while but i'll get it a bit no i'm never gonna get that physical copy i gave this book two stars and and that was pushing it I think I gave it two stars right oh yeah I said I would give it three if I ever and I don't know why I would ever reread it because I gave it a 2.5 um but basically it follows this guy silver and this other guy black and black works for silver at a coffee coffee house <laughs> so black works for silver because I'm trying I'm having trouble remembering their uh, their first names because you know their last names are both like the um Brian. Brian Silver. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, Silver, he owns it. He's the CEO of this coffee shop chain and Black works for one of them and one of them and they meet whatever. It's it's a nice their romance is what I would overall declare as sweet, eye rolling inducing, but ultimately dull, boring. It's like, oh I'm glad that you two got together, but Ah, no one really cares. <laughs> like that type of thing. That was the worst thing was that they were they were boring. So I don't think you were as invested in them after a while. It was just kind of like oh, but it never went above it. it just kind of sunk and plateaued. And some of the like alternate storylines that were going on in here were just no. They were just plain stupid. <laughs> I'm so so many levels and things things literally came out of nowhere crazy people came out of nowhere and while that made the book go what it made the definitely perked up the book a bit it still was just like no just stop and <clears throat> two side characters end up oh this couple they, this couple is getting their own book and literally what i want to do is stop the press don't do it don't do it literally one was such an a-hole through this entire like it wasn't even no there was just no reason no no i'm sorry i gave it two stars and i put i did a review on it so you guys can just get more of what i thought about it in depth basically so but i think you guys pretty much got it I'm done done with life don't even want to read that second book but you know one day i may be bored and curiosity killed the cat <laughs> anyway the next and last book that i read was dangerous by caitlin dare it's another stepbrother book so these two went to the same school together um boarding school or maybe it was a regular school i don't even remember at this point <laughs> they um of course sleep together a couple of months fast forward oh my god they're his mom and her why is it always her mom and his dad are getting married every single time 
they get married and now they're living together and some things happen you know they had that whole misunderstanding slash we're not talking trope because apparently people characters don't talk to each other about certain things and just like that is fine you know that trope bothers me but yeah it's another way to keep the story going going what I didn't like was something that happened and I literally this boy I was just like boy you just need to leave that was it that was me I was just like you need to leave and never look back at these people I don't like her I don't like your father and <laughs> just no just no just stop I gave it three out of five stars basically because of my love of him and because I like the first half of the book but the second half was just like a uh, no 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 so that are all the books that I read in the month of May you guys let me know down below if any of these books interest you or you just like Keisha uh, those are my sort of books let me know either way and I will talk to you guys later bye